When the Nexus 7 first came out, a lot of people thought it revolutionized the tablet market with its accessible size and very affordable price point. Well, it was only a matter of time before other companies decided to adopt the same general strategy and possibly do it even better. Hey, it's Joshua Vergar from Android Authority. What's going on, everybody? And this is the HP Slate 7. <laughs> As the name suggests, the HP Slate 7 is a 7-inch tablet much like the Nexus 7. As a matter of fact, it looks a lot like the Google tablet at first glance. I'll try my best to keep this from being a comparison, but the Nexus 7 does make a good benchmark. You get the front black slate with the sizable bezel around the screen and front-facing camera up top. In size, it has a similar profile but is thicker and noticeably heavier. This is due to a metal spine that joins the back and the front, a thick spine that allows for easy gripping in one hand. The power button, SD card slot, and headphone jack are up top, the volume rockers are on the side, and the speaker grills are on the bottom. The back is of a rubberized material around the rear-facing camera. It's almost as if HP took the somewhat cheaper feeling Nexus 7 and gave it a more industrial look and feel. The thicker profile makes it easier to hold in one hand, and the heft just helps elevate its build quality. The attractive back can be found in some other colors, like a really vibrant red, but this gray still looks quite good. HP can be commended for making a sturdy feeling and attractive 7-inch tablet. If the 7-inch tablet market is supposed to be generally more affordable, the HP Slate 7 definitely fulfills the criteria. We'll get to the price later, but know that with a low price comes accommodating specifications. This starts with the screen. The 7-inch LCD is actually lower in resolution than a vast majority of other devices, coming in at 1024 by 600 resolution at only 170 ppi. While it does look quite decent at a distance away, you can already notice some fringing in the colors and that only gets worse when you get closer. Just about everything from shapes and text looks jagged and pixelated. Even the general user will notice this lowered quality in the display experience. You pretty much do get what you're paying for here considering that other options, only somewhat more expensive, give a much better screen performance. The performance of the Slate 7 is decidedly mid-range, as HP outfitted this tablet with the dual-core Cortex-A9 that clocks in at 1.6GHz. This isn't a slow performer by any means, as it works just fine for the budget Slate 7. It slides through its menus and elements just fine, though it takes longer for it to load more intensive apps. Gaming is also just decent due to the Mali 400 MP4, which is a respectable graphics package, and the 1GB of RAM that gets you some multitasking abilities. All in all, you'll be able to get around typical tasks without any problems, but expect some stutter and lag when you're trying to get crazy. Benchmark scores are thus where you would expect, and T2 puts it squarely right above the 10,000 mark while Epic Citadel at just high performance was only able to maintain about 40 frames a second. Hardware on the Slate 7 does get a bit of a boost with an SD card slot found at the top. Being able to extend the included 8 or 16 gigabytes will help people get more media usage, which is always nice. Otherwise, you would expect a standard bevy of other features like Bluetooth, which you do get. But you don't get GPS here, making the Slate 7 the last choice of navigation. And you also don't get NFC. Perhaps a bit of a bizarre oversight is the exclusion of a gyroscope. Beats Audio is perhaps the only real addition that differentiates the Slate 7. It does its job here adding volume and some richness to music through headphones. Too bad it can't do the same for the outer speakers, which are just not loud enough for more than just one or two people trying to listen. It's hard not to be disappointed by all that is missing here as a concerted effort to offer even the standard tablet experience at such a low price point could have propelled this tablet. A 3500mAh battery is included in the Slate 7, which HP claims will keep the tablet running for up to 5 hours. This is mostly true. After about a couple hours of usage mostly on YouTube, it did get down to about 45% life. Now no one really expects cameras on tablets to be very good, but sometimes they are nice additions. Not so on the Slate 7. This 3 megapixel rear shooter is a far cry from just about anything we see on devices these days. While it is an addition that the Slate 7 has over the Nexus 7, it's one you probably won't be using anyway. The app is as standard as it can get, with only really panorama as the added mode, and pictures are all full of grain and lag good color reproduction. Even the lack of autofocus adds to the troubles in this camera. The front facing camera is decidedly lower quality too, capable of only VGA resolution and consistently washed out pictures. If you really need a camera on your tablet, then you got one here, but you're likely better off just taking out your much better performing camera phone in just about every case. And finally we come to the software. Simple story here. 
The Jelly Bean 4.1.2 powered HP Slate 7 keeps things about as stock as possible. There are pretty much no changes to the original formula here, and without a proprietary ecosystem like Amazon with its Kindle to back it up, this is about as vanilla as you can get. A lot of us do prefer the Nexus experience, and you do get it here, which is nice, but there's not much to say otherwise. Finally, we end on price. I end on this because it's important to know all that HP had to strip away in order to make this one of the most affordable 7-inch tablets on the market today. At $169, however, it is only $30 cheaper than an Nexus 7 with twice as much storage and better performance pretty much all around. Sure, you will lose a camera in that jump, but it's up to you if that is worth it. Honestly, I think so. And so, there you have it. I give HP props for putting themselves out there to make an affordable tablet. It's just such a disappointment that something so well constructed doesn't have anything to show for it underneath. Perhaps it's useful for us to take a look at it from at least one positive angle. Maybe a tablet that is this affordable would make a great learning tool for children. But the mere fact that I had to think outside of the box just to justify the Slate 7 should tell you everything you need to know about it. It's a very worthy try, especially in design and I hope it only gets better for HP and Android tablets. Don't forget to drop us some likes on our videos down below. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, and then stay tuned for all of the best coverage on Android Authority's YouTube channel because we are your source for all things Android.